Vegeta in that war ravaged land. His mission to gather intelligence about Ciri. Yet Geralt arrived too late. The wild hunt had reached Hendrik first. The Witcher learned nothing from the spy's corpse, but the wraiths had failed to find his notes. Geralt. Come on now. Faster. That's it, Roach. Oswing, anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Well, this is a fucking first. What do you want, then? You dare tell me? You! You! Where do I know you from, eh? All right, the Witcher! Come, drink with me! Pale as a ghost, you are. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? <laughs> they ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! Ever fight a witcher?
Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. <laughs> Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. 
Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Let us stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Botch things on the prowl.
long you're gonna make me wait. Child. You know I had to. You were supposed to lift the curse. Save it, damn you, not kill it. Shut up before you wake someone. Last thing we need is a crowd. Fuck it! I don't blow and care, hear me? You killed my child! I killed a botchling. Your daughter died a while back. Go home. Get yourself together. I'll try to find your other daughter, the one who's still alive. What... what will you do with that blood? Me? Nothing. Just hope that Peller knows what to do with it. Go home. I'll come see you once I know something. Plowing, pouring again. Join the tournament, eh? A bit of honest fist fighting to clear the lungs and bowels. Though I warn you, <laughs> Jordan can be fierce. Likes to bite. 
Get me? So, what'll it be? See just how fierce Jonah is. Feast your eyes on an epic clash. Oh, how long are you gonna make me wait? Drifters defeated Jonah. Could this be a new champion of Velen in the making? Who can tell? You've still Smithy from the Inn at the Crossroads to defeat, then Fish Cooper from Lindenville. I'll leave you to guess what he does. Bacon, lard, red sausage. Faster. Flowey <laughs> hangover. Wolf, wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Got the botchling's blood. Know what to do, how to find Anna and Tamara. Blood, blood, blood. The Pella knows, knows the ritual, ritual to summon the spirits. The Pella will take the blood. Let's see if these old rituals hold any sway in these foul times. You wish to go right away? Yeah, don't see any sense in waiting. So shall it be. The White Wolf must follow the pillar. The pillar will show the way. We got a long way to go? Nah, it's not far. Through the village, then the wood, and there we will be. the Baron's land? It is now. T'were not before. So who'd it belong to? To the Lord. Serard, they called him. An evil man he were. Vile. Cared not a lick for common folk. You all get together and drive him away? When the Black Ones came, the Lord to the tower on Fike Isle fled. The invaders set the fields afire, and a great hunger descended on us all. While the Lord in abundance wallowed, there in the Tower of Mice. The old gods, in their ire, upon him visited a punishment. A plague of rodents swarmed the isle. At first, they ate all from the feast tables. Then, the Lord and all his court they devoured. Local gods just aren't known to be tolerant. Elf Guardians hit you pretty hard. Folk are poor here. It's where the mighty concern themselves with the poor. But the invaders will be punished. Shouts they go away. How's that? Pestilence of the will devour them all. As the mice devoured the Lord's court. It is 
not far now. Nearly there. Nearly there. What is this place? The Wolf and Clyde. Nice name. White Wolf should feel right at home. The White Wolf. Aye, good balance. For terrible things happened here of yore. To this day, none dare mention the name aloud. Here. The place. What now? Light the fires. No reason to dawdle. Prepare and prepare well. Once the spirits appear, there'll be no recourse, no turning back. Nothing like a little encouragement. Light the fires. The Pella will treat that as his sign to begin. circle. By the powers of earth and sky, by the world that was to be your home, I, who have tasted your blood, summon you to guide me. Come, blood unborn. Come, blood spurned. Come, blood never named. Hear me upon the paths. Lead me along the trail of those bound to you by blood. Damn it. Supposed to keep the fires lit.
the blood of her blood, I see them bound. The blood summons me, a thick flow upon skin, dark blood upon a light stone. I am the unnamed. I am blood immersed in blood. I, I am dead. lost. The blood summons me. Just a bit further, Mum. Hold on. Blood leaves her face. Thorny boughs snag her. Stop her. I am a drop on a web. Will Wojtek wait? Dark blood carries the question downriver. Why do you seek the child of Elder Blood? Nay is the time of the white frost and white light, the time of madness and disdain. The world shall perish amidst ice and be reborn of elder blood, of a planted seed. What can you possibly offer? seen what he was meant to say. Third vision seems most important. Mm, they were walking through the woods, both weak, but for different reasons, yet both knew where they were going. Not sure I heard you right, but you mentioned a Wojtek. Hope filled both their hearts at the thought of him. Hmm. And the prophecy at the end? With Lean's words, you quoted them, and then asked me a question. Forgive the Pella. He knows not what you mean. Spirits, the spirits speak through the ritual, not he. This Wojtek from your vision, know him? Wojtek, Wojtek. Two Wojteks have we near about. In Black Bow lives one. In his hut, there he stays, has for years. Gophers, with gophers he lives, they say. And he could remember a time when in these lands dwelled only elves. And the other? Somehow I doubt they went to a century-old rodent lover for help. A fisherman. A family he has lives in a secluded hut near the river's mouth. Time I was on my way. Thanks for your help. Refuse? Why, the Pella could never have refused. A man seeks to do good in life, but evil is unavoidable. The ones who encounter evil, why, they must be helped. Fare thee well, and may the gods bless and keep you. Come on now.
another room. Go on now. What do you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. They call you Wojtek. I... I... They do, kind sir. But I's not done a thing. Swear it on the lives of my young'uns. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kitty. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream, then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause... Cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, twere like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. The moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then I saw him, fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside burned like a cattle brand Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over these hot and glowing as if they burned with raw fire fine what happened next grew even darker seemed someone had put out the stars crickets all went silent of a sudden and then from the woods a roar broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly, for the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded. Said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come, a time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? 
I'll do what I can to see that she is. Move it! Take it easy. Get up. Halt! Stand in Jew! I challenge you! Boots a bit big, maybe? Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Rondvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. To honor made Bilbury, fairest of all maids I know, by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste. But I have 99 left after you. At your service. Let's get this over with. No! I yield! Had enough? Yes. Luck stood with you. But, but the next time we meet... Challenge me again. Raise your hand. Draw your sword, look at me the wrong way, and I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Yes. We shall see.
pot of cider for you? Or a bit of dry curd? My ladder's not exactly burst him, but what I got sure to please. I'd like to take a look. assist you. Need some armor. Looking for someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been at it 20 years now. Mastered the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wish. Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately. Snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light, but durable. Can't constrain movement. And I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. That all? Sure it shouldn't be self-cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? <laughs>
Sounds great. Can you make a suit like that? No, but find someone who can and I'll gladly meet them. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be liked. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroch used on Undvik. Joanna, I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Unvik for his armor. Said Tordoroch folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes. North side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. Oh. bones. Witcher, a word, please. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story, insisted on having them, spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. I'll never know which blooms would please my second daughter most. Damn shame. She brought death down on others. The sooner you start thinking of it that way, the better off you'll be. Can't deny that. 
Doesn't make it any easier to live with, though. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She alright? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Foltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Sere, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Kerr Morhen. Witcher school there, I. But they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Mean to say you're a she-witcher? Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witches there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because, you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. We start at daybreak. Day dawns. Ready? As ever. 
First one to the tower. Man chop! Come on, silly! Don't you embarrass us! Your sword is mine! That'll be the day! as you think me. Congratulations. Unnecessary. Better you bid your sword farewell. I await my reward. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna too. Ever play Gwent? I do. And what's more, I usually win. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me. And I'll give you one of my unique cards. How's that for enticement? Let's lay him down. You're not complete shite, but you really should work on your technique. Stop by again sometime, we'll play another round. Wanna walk over the village? Remind the pumpkins who we are. Better than sitting around scratching our asses. So Siri was here. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. A spinning top. Quick as toy.
Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. The Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Bredevoort. Where'd Siri get this? One fucked up face. White Witcher! When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A ragdoll? Uh huh. Drinks enough for a whole platoon since his family disappeared. Slurps a jug of charred spirit and don't even wince. Bollocks. Ooh! Blowing hangover. Fancy an outing to find that she be. It's been the Smiths, lass. Get a tooth one. Got a bad idea. Come on, Roach. Got eyes like a cat. You catch mice too. What's that you're muttering? their roach. Let's go!
stench. Let's go! Take it easy. Come on, Roach. Just destroy it. Son's eyes. Oh, shit. Never learn. Piss off. Still got legs. Ah, bollocks.
slow now. Whoa. Master. Your kind spreads disease, defeatism and desertion. Greetings! Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Come on.
Take it easy. That's it, Roach. Whoa! Hey there. Take it easy. Go, go. That's it, Roach. Slow now. Faster.
eternal fire. Your bones are aching again. or white hot tongues. You know Gerard? A fellow from the hills outside town. Brought sheep cheese to market. Oh, I just sail back to Queen's long Save me. I'm dying. You do know that a witch. Oh! Beg your pardon. Best ways this Whoa, side of the box. Any news from the I get? Have everything from apples to Zander. Paper, please. And a bottle of ink. Oh, I, I'm out. A requisition by the arm. To support the war. Paper. War. Enjoy living, freak. Remember your caps. to me! Just you wait. The witch hunters will see to you. Ooh. Best wares this side of the Ponza. Keep that up and I'll crack your skull open. Fasty, eh? 
I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. you be? My father sends you. Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine, and now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Got every right to be angry at your father, but he's worried about you. I have a right. Thank you kindly. So good to have the approval of his hired thug. And my father worries only about what to get soused on next. He's no saint, that's clear. But he's got the whole province on its feet looking for you. Finding you and your mother? Seems to me there's nothing more important to him now. I know evil men. He's not one of them. Shame he never showed such concern before. Especially for my mother. He made a mistake and knows that. I'm not defending him, just saying that maybe he's come to realize what he's done, and what you mean to him. Oh, wonderful. I'll bear that in mind. Did you really come all the way here just to tell me that? I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her. She fell. That's how it started. We were alone, no one to help. Blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry. Must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock. She was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. Must have had a fever. She was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her guts than bear another child from his seed. Voitek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce, my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that... that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> A witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden. Witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. 
Where are you going to take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck. Majesty King Radovid is a stern ruler. The witch hunters defend us from monsters. Fuck. Have we not been ah. before? Ah. In Loch Moin, perchance. <sighs>
Choke to death on three pounds of Long live rather than Give me up. Long live excellent. Whoa! Let's go! This be the witch pendant, freak of nature. <laughs> More interesting things from my nose. Ooh. What the? Not looking good, <laughs> I tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where the loot's are. Who will protect us poor from the cutthroats? Who, I ask? It isn't easy. Not at all. Listening, what do you come to me with? Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Oh, 
gods are out, despite all. Oh. <sighs> well, what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilf Guardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilf Guardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. How do you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. More units smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled and abandoned the Perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folks see witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. So long. Thank <laughs> you.